Hey loves, welcome to my channel. Small business is a very large in Nigeria. Practically every Nigerian owns a small business, but only a few survive the first year. In this video, I'm going to be providing you with knowledge you need to equip yourself to survive as a small business in Nigeria. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on your notifications so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get right into it. is I in Nigeria so a lot of Nigerians have turned towards entrepreneurship and creating content and services that people need here are ways you can improve your business as a small business in Nigeria you can survive and try let's see the ways that are available for you today the first one is copying other businesses Please don't do this as a small business because when you copy other businesses, people are going to find out and they're going to rate your business below that business even if you provide a better service or goods. I've seen a lot of people even copy businesses down to their logo and colors that are synony synonymous to that business. Please don't do that because people are going to rate you below that business they, that is obvious that you have copied from. The second is bad customer service and care if you provide bad customer care and services people are not going to come towards your business and people are not going to patronize the business me personally if you give me an attitude as a customer service i'm going to tell my friends i'm going to tell my family that this business is horrible and they're not going to patronize you and what if 20 people do that and you're going to tell people they know and your business will just die a natural death so people are going to have bad reviews about your business even if your products are good so customer care service is really something that we should improve on the third one is bad partnership I hate partnership, I hate getting into partnership that are not favorable. When you're getting into partnership, ensure that the person you're getting into partnership with has the same goals and focus as you. Because when your goals or your focus changes along the line of your business, they are going to pull out of your business. And when they pull out, they're pulling out their money, they're pulling out their resources, and your business is going to suffer. Your business will die faster. So when you're trying to find a partner, find people that have the same goals and focus as you. The next one would be inadequate electricity. In Nigeria, the electricity is not constant. So when you use most of your income to fuel your generator so you can have power to provide power by yourself, well, at the end of the month, you're going to see that you spend majority of your income on just power. So as a small business, this is very, very difficult and challenging because you're just starting out and you when you spend a liter of fuel is very expensive. When you buy that from morning to night, you're going to see that you're using almost all your income to create power for yourself and that can create a very saddening effect on you and your business. The next one is with mismanagement of funds like in small businesses there is little or no form of accountability so people tend to always spend money that they don't have they don't want to know if this money is available they just spend it they don't set aside a, a particular amount of money for their businesses they just feel that they own everything without like thinking of the lifespan of their business so when they're spending money they're just spending it anyhow without having some set aside for the business as a form of insurance so as a form of advice if you have a small business ensure to pay yourself salary have some amount of money that you set aside in the name of your business so that whatever risks that may come forth in the later future you can have an amount of money reasonable amount of money that can take on that risk the next one is know your competition and when i say know your competition i don't mean you should copy them when you're trying to know your competition you're going to find out businesses that provide the same services as you do and you find where they have shortcomings and you improve on that and you have to reduce your 
price and when you reduce your price and provide quality people are going to naturally gravitate towards your business and that is growth for your business and when you continue to grow you can then later on increase your prices and your fees and you're going to stay triumph so know your know your know your competition know what they're providing know their weaknesses improve on their weaknesses the next one is high expectation when I was planning my first video for YouTube, I assumed that by now I would have like 12k subscribers. Well, newsflash, I don't even have up to 200 subscribers. But because it's what I love doing, I'm still doing it. Hopefully, I'm going to... I'm going to get to where I want to get to. I'm going to get to where I want to be. So when you're starting a small business, don't have so high of a expectation because you don't know what is going to happen along the line. So when you're starting a business, have a moderate form of expectation. Have a lot of zeal that I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this. But don't put so much pressure on yourself on making millions. Maybe you're not even going to make millions in the first or second year. You might start making millions in your third year. So just persevere and do what you love doing. Another one would be know your customer and your market. Know your customer and your market. So if you already have a bad customer service with your customers, you're not going to know what they dislike. You're not going to know what they like. So you're just basically producing products that your customers are disinterested in. Another thing is know your market. You can't come and be selling plantain chips in a local market for 500 naira when there are some that sell their plantain chips in that same local market for 500 naira. Forget the taste, forget the quality of the taste of the plantain chip. People are going to buy the one of 50 naira because that is what they can afford and that is what they will need. So you need to know the market you're pushing your product in. You need to know the market that you're you're presenting your product in if not you're going to suffer lots of losses and lack of sale another one is hiring too early people feel that when they start a business they need to you know spread their branches in different different places and when you're spreading your branches you're inviting a lot of people into your business and most of these people might be incompetent they might not have the same values as you do and most of them might defraud your company and you're going to suffer that loss you're going to suffer that the loss that is going to come with it so when you are starting a business i advise you start small because you you don't know the business too well you don't know what is going to come out from the business you're just trying to figure out what is going on in this business i a little Hire little manpower so that you can figure out what it is. And when you are finally understand the business, you can spread your branches to different places and you can provide better services to your customers. So guys, so guys, with these points and I've given you, I hope that it is very helpful for you and that you can improve as a small business in Nigeria and at least try. Please guys subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on your notifications so you're notified anytime and every time I drop a new video. I love you guys. Bye.